This week, I followed a wildlife photographer around to learn the ins and outs of photographing wildlife. One of the most important things for bird <clears throat> photography, you need to scout your area ahead of time, and you need to get out there really early in the morning. You need to know where to set up, and you gotta get set up so that the birds don't know you're there. So we wanna show up early, as soon as there's enough light to shoot. And then we need to be camouflaged with a long lens. I'm shooting a 100-400 with a 1X extender. I'm using a Canon 5D Mark IV with a 100-400 telephoto lens with a 1.4 extender. It gives me the length of about 560 millimeters. Very important when you're getting ready to do the birds that you do your work ahead of time. Figure out where they are. There's a big tree out there. The bald eagles love to sit on it. And then they also sit down at the end of this bit of land and fish. So we're out going to try to shoot them this morning, but they're not gonna come around if they see me standing up here. So I have a lens hide that I will use to disappear. And the birds have actually come up and pretty much sat on my head in this thing. Hummingbirds, not bald eagles. I've completely camouflaged now, and all I have to do is be a very patient person and wait for the birds to come. Tell me about the day you captured this picture. The day that I took this, I went out to the Ridgefield Wildlife Refuge. I have a bean bag that fits over the side of my car with the window rolled down. It's actually a tripod I can screw my camera onto. I drive around in the, in the wildlife refuge until I find an interesting bird. I saw this heron, and by studying birds for many years now, I can predict their behaviors. This heron was, fish, was hunting in the grass along the road, and he just stopped and had that look that he was going to get something. His head went down, I had my camera set to fire off as many shots as fast as I could, he came up with this mouse, he dropped the mouse, he came back up with it, and when he did, they were eye to eye, the little mouse looking right into the great blue heron's eye. I continued getting shots, I have it where the mouse actually disappears, but this shot has been my most popular shot. I have sold more of this shot. It was knowing when to be at the refuge, what time of day the light was good. It was knowing the behavior of the animal. Bald eagles are probably my most favorite subject to photograph. Being a wildlife photographer in Washington has so many advantages. I knew these eagles congregate in Seabeck, Washington on the Hood Canal in May. There's tidal flats up there. They get some little fish when the tide is low. So you have to know when the tide is and time about two hours after the tide turns and starts ebbing. I set up on the beach with the camera on a tripod, 100-400, 1x extender, when you're shooting birds in action, you really have to have some practice behind you. They move very fast. And to get the fine detail that we want in these birds, we will probably shoot in a week 500 shots, maybe, maybe more than that. I will keep maybe a handful, 20 or 30 out of that. To get, I want clarity in the eye. I want feather definition. I don't want any of the exposure blown out. I have another one over here. Same day, Seabeck, Washington. I was photographing this eagle. As he was flying through, I was panning the camera after him. He startled this great blue heron who was fishing down in the edges of the water. The heron flew up at the same time the eagle was going by, and I managed to capture both at the same time. It was very difficult to get focus in both of them at the same time and to show all the fine detail of the water splashes, the toenails on the heron, feather definition, good clarity in both eyes. So we're out here looking for sandhill cranes and we were just surprised by a whole flock of snow geese that went flying by. A little added bonus today. So we're located in the Vancouver Lake wetlands. We're still looking for the sandhill cranes. The light's pretty bright, not our best time of day. 
in a situation like this where it's either a drive-through refuge or today we can't really go out into the wetlands like we usually can because it's deer hunting season and there are a lot of hunters out there. So today I'm choosing to use the lens coat bean bag with a tripod mount head to help me keep this camera still as I'm shooting the birds. It has a ball mount so it's easy to rotate to get the good pictures of them coming through. I'm again shooting the Canon 5D Mark IV with a 100-400 and an extender. So we found some sand hills, some Canadian geese, and some snow geese. They're a little bit far out there, but let's go and take a look. We have to go slowly or they will get frightened and we never want to scare the birds. We don't want to use up their energy and their stores of fat that they've saved up for the winter. So we always use a long lens and stay as far back as we possibly can. We've located some sand hill cranes. I don't want to talk too loudly, so hopefully you can hear me. We don't want to startle them. We've got three more flying in right now. Right now there's a Harrier hawk. Flying off in the distance. Did you catch that hawk? That's another bird in flight. So I had to have my camera ready to go and be ready. We were just out walking, still searching. But I had it set so that I could capture that bird. If you look in the distance, we can see Mount St. Helens. This field's just been plowed, but sometimes after they harvest the corn, that's where you'll find all of the sand hills, the Canadian geese, the snow geese. But none of them are here today. But we did get that hawk. We came out again this morning trying to find the sandhill cranes. We've driven around and around and we didn't have much luck, but now we've spotted some just over here. So I'm going to quietly see if I can get just a little bit closer and maybe we'll get a picture of the sandhill cranes. It is the Sandhill Cranes. This is a 100-400 lens. I think we need to walk back to the car and get the 800 that fits that camera, and we'll see how Derek does filming the Sandhill Cranes. They're just foraging here. This morning we came to Ridgefield Wildlife Refuge in the hopes of finding the Sandhill Cranes. This morning we did. Right at the very beginning of the drive that you take through the refuge. They were just doing their mating dance. Still at Ridgefield Wildlife Refuge in Ridgefield, Washington. Usually we're out here birding, but you can usually find a few deer. This is a beaver den. The water's pretty high right now, so you're only seeing the very top of it. Quite often we can see the beaver out here. Not today, though. It's an egret. Ridgefield Wildlife Refuge. When it comes to wildlife photography, you're not guaranteed to get anything. But you never know what you might get. 